Fly Guy presents bats. A boy had a pet fly named Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name. Buzz. Buzz and Fly Guy went to the nocturnal house at the zoo. Buzz looked at the map. They were inside a bat cave. Bats are so cool, said Buzz. But I don't know much about them. Buzz and Fly Guy wanted to learn more. Almost all bats are nocturnal. That means they are active at night and asleep during the day. Bats fly at night. These are greater flying fox bats. They're sleeping in trees. Buzz flies bunny. <laughs> Townsend Beard-Eared Bat Lesser Mouse-Eared Bat A Raccoon A Barn Owl Other animals such as raccoons and barn owls are also mainly nocturnal. Bats hang upside down to sleep. They hang in high places to be safe from hunting animals. Some bats hang from trees or under bridges. Bats might even hang out in your attic. Other bats live in caves. They hang from the ceiling. There's a fruit bat in a tree, long-eared bats in an attic, and lesser long-nosed bats in a cave. A group of bats is called a colony. Some colonies in caves have more than 20 million bats. Can you hang like a bat? Fly Guy says it's easy. There are more than 1,200 different species or kinds of bats. There's the tube-nosed bat, a ghost bat, a Jamaican fruit-eating bat, the most common bat in North America is the little brown bat. There's a picture of it. Bats live on every continent except for Antarctica. They can be found as far north as the Arctic Circle where temperatures can drip as low as negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. There's an icy cave. They also live in very hot places like Death Valley, California, where the temperature once reached 134 degrees Fahrenheit. Greater Flying Fox Bat Coat of Fur Bats are mammals. Mammals have fur and they are warm-bodied. That means the temperature of their bodies does not change with the temperature of where they are. Bats are the only mammals in the world that can fly. This is a greater flying fox bat colony. Fly Guy said, I fly. Buzz said, yes, but you're not a mammal, you're an insect. Flying is hard work. Bats use gravity, or the force that pulls objects downward to earth, to help them take off. This is an idiot fly at fox bat, fridge lipped bats, and a Brazilian free tail bat. First bats hang upside down. Decks that drop from their perch and flap their wings until they're flying through the air. Little brown back in stages of flight. Buzz says, that's amazing. Fly like I said, yes. <laughs> Most bats are small and weigh less than two ounces. That's less than an orange. There's a ghost bat. He's pretty cool looking. Kitty's log nose bat, also called a bumblebee bat, is the world's ballest bat. It's only about what it's log. 
Like, there's a picture of the bubble bee bat next to Fly Guy. He's just a little bit bigger than the fly. That's so cool. There are some large bats, too. The greater flying fox bat is the largest bat in the world. From tip to tip, its wings stretch to about five feet. Oh my goodness, that's as big as me. There's a picture of it flying through the sky. Different kinds of bats eat different things. Many bats, such as the Egyptian slit-faced bat, eat insects. Some insect-eating bats also eat frogs, lizards, small birds, and even fish. There's an Egyptian slit-faced bat and a pallid bat. Fly Guy said, eat insects. Buzz said, I was hoping you would miss that fact. <laughs> Fruit bats munch on fruits and flowers. There's an Egyptian fruit bat, the Paula's long tongue bat, and a vampire bat. Vampire bats eat only blood. They drink from other animals such as horses. These bats use heat sensors to help them find the animal they're hunting. Bats have amazing bodies. There's a skeleton of a bat, a long-eared bat skeleton. These small mammals have two wings, two legs, and a tail. They cannot run because their legs are so sm too small and their wings are not as strong as a bird's. Bats have two thumbs, one at each end of their wing. These stems help them to climb, fight, and hunt. There's a picture of a bat thumb. All bats have teeth. Fruit-eating bats have sharper teeth than bats that eat insects. Insect-eating bats have teeth that help them crush insects. Vampire bats have razor-sharp teeth. These fangs help suck blood. There's nice furrows, forest bat, and a vampire bat. Fly guys are imagining buzz with vampire teeth. Bats have super senses. Some bats can see in the dark. The fringe lit bat. Bats' noses have extra special smell sensors. There's the leaf nose bat. He's funny looking. And bats have great hearing. They can hear an insect's beating wings. They said wings make noise. The log eared hunting, a moth. Gray log eared bat. Wow, his ears are big. Many types of bats use a special sound to get around to find food. This is called echolocation. Bats send this out from their nose or mouth. The sound travels to an object, bounces off of it, and travels back to the bat's ears. This lets the bat know how far away the object is, so the bat can locate it. Some bats make sounds louder than 110 decibels. Bat sounds are too high pitched for people to hear. Not all bats hunt the same way. Some bats like the dandum round a leaf bat, wait for an insect to fly by, then they fly after the insect to catch it. And some bats hunt bad guys. <laughs> He's talking about Batman. 
other bats had as a group. They help one another catch prey. Many bats hibernate. In the winter, when there's not much food, they go into a deep sleep. Then when spring comes, the bats wake up to hunt again. There's a bunch of little brown bats hibernating. Most female bats give birth to only one baby each year. Baby bats are called pups. Like I said, pups, and there's a gray bat pup. All pups, even baby vampire bats, drink milk from their mothers. There's a Gambian bat and mother and pup. Baby bats hang on to their mothers. Mother bats with their pups. A mother bat recognizes her pup's scent and cry. Even with hundreds of pups in one colony, mom can always find her baby. Fruit bat mother and pup. Chiraptorologists are scientists who study bats, then try to learn more about bats. Chiraptorologists Look for new bat species, says Buzz. In 2013, scientists discovered the disc wing bat. These bats have special discs on their thumbs that help them climb. Oh, look, it's like a suction cup. Bats are amazing, said Buzz. From now on, I promise never try to swat at a bat, even if one gets in my house. I will get help to safely remove it. Bats are our friends. Buzz and Fly Guy couldn't wait for their next adventure.